Hey guys, hope all is fantastic with you. So the power of the subconscious mind. Here's something uh, a specific about the subconscious mind that you may know or may not know, but I'm gonna dive into it. And that is the subconscious mind will always take the stronger, the most sincere, the most authentic and genuine of two ideas, okay? So for a while there, when I was really diving into the aspect of financial abundance, I had to rebalance the idea of abundance and lack within my subconscious mind. Growing up, lack became the stronger idea within my subconscious, and so that's what portrayed itself out into the reality of my life, right? But then all of a sudden, as I became, became more and more conscious of that, I turned the tables, and now in my life at this point, abundance is a stronger concept. So I tell you this, because there's something really important. As long as you've got the concept that serves you and serves your evolving and your advancement in your journey of life, you have nothing to be concerned about because your life is going to operate 100% based off of your subconscious ideas and beliefs. So once you get the strongest idea and it's the one the subconscious mind accepts, you just live out your life knowing that these are the ideas that are playing and coming forth or basically the ones that I am projecting out into the universe and that are showing up into my material reality. So once again, it will always accept the strongest idea. It's our job to make the strongest idea the ideas that support us through the subconscious mind. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care.